Hey everybody, it's Vinny from The Overdose. I want to take a look at this dash cam video that's just been released. It's from three years ago in Opelika, Alabama on Highway 85. The guy that we're about to see in this video who ends up being shot is Michael Davidson. There's a picture of him here. He was uh, 20 years old at the time and a member of the Air Force. The officer is this guy, Philip Hancock. This guy who looks vaguely like Mr. Bean or something responded to the scene of a he responded to the scene of a minor accident involving Davidson and um, you'll see here I'm behind the vehicle. Tell me, tell me this other behind truck me. up ahead. So I assume these two here have been in the accident and this is Philip Hancock pulling up at the scene. We'll just watch what happens. Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! Double zero, black and double zero! So the officer in this case has already been cleared of all wrongdoing. Uh, the court apparently ruled that he had a reason to fear for his life and he did not violate Michael Davidson's constitutional rights uh, by shooting him in the stomach a couple of times there and I mean obviously this looks fucking horribly painful it's just it's really uncomfortable to watch but I'm going to show you one more time to illustrate a point here um, the the cop here has pulled up to to the scene of a very minor little fender bender type of thing and I'm not sure why it is that he's so paranoid that he's this ready to shoot this quickly um, you know I know they get freaked out when people hop out and yeah, he was holding his wallet sort of weird with both hands. I understand there's going to be a little bit of, you know, there's there's going to be some discrepancy here on, on both sides. But let's take a look at what's going on here. The car, as you can see, is parked on this slope, you know, so it's it's tilted to the right there. So he struggles, you know, he sort of struggles to get out because of obviously the weight of the door um, pushing back. And so he looks a little awkward as he gets out here. Michael Davidson does. And apparently this is... Let me is... see your hands! Let me see your hands! Yeah. So apparently this cop assumes that this guy has waited at the scene of a minor fender bender <coughs> waiting for the police to show up so that he can jump out and awkwardly hold a gun with, with, uh, with two hands, you know, close to his stomach, apparently, and shoot at a cop. I, you know, this is a weird one because, um... You know, I, I guess I see. I guess I see where they're going to be coming from. But you know, the level of paranoia these fucking people have sometimes. The police. It is just that's what's unjustified to me. Is why? Why would you be that? Why would you be that fucking paranoid? People aren't. No matter what they tell you, this war on police and stuff. There, people aren't out there killing cops all that often. Really, to be honest. Um, you know, there's there's no reason to to there's or there's no justification for the level of paranoia and and just itchy trigger fingers that are out there on some of these police forces. Let me see him. Continues to yell at him while he's obviously in excruciating pain. Double zero, black and double zero. Let me see your hands. It's clearly a wallet at this point. Double zero, black. Double zero. Roll rescue. Tip one. And I don't understand how at this point the cop isn't going, holy fuck. I just made a giant mistake. I need to see if oh, like, I, I need to see what I can do for this guy. How is he not down. over there? He's still go going on with this narrative that he's in danger when he clearly saw the wallet fall out of the guy's hand. And he's still going, oh no, is there somebody else that might kill me? Oh my god. You know, I've, after all, this is a fender bender here. This is serious fucking business. The fuck is wrong with this guy? This is what almost pisses me off more than anything, is their their reactions after the, after stuff like this happens. Like, they, they, they go into this mode where they know they can't break the narrative because they have to maintain this idea that they feared for their life. One down, he was shot. Don't move! Don't move! 63, 63, northbound, gunshot, Don't move! 
Don't move! So what kind of thing is this to do to scream at this guy to, to not move? You've just... You're... I mean... When I first saw this video, I thought this guy was dead. I mean, you see the... He ends up with abdominal wounds. Um, he had all kinds of problems. Obviously, organs and bowels that are... That are in there. Um, and you see the exit wound that basically looks like it's coming out of his ass. Don't and, move, it, you know, I, I, I just couldn't imagine how somebody could have lived through this. But this guy did survive, thankfully. Sir! 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 Yeah, sir, I shot you in the stomach two or three times. Check this car. Oh, oh, yeah, it's still dangerous. Make sure no else in this car. Oh, my goodness. Check the car. I'm going to clear it. I'm going to clear it. Fucking idiots. I mean, I, I, I don't know how they're not, how they're still not even taking a look at this guy trying to help him out at all. I don't know what you could do, but. clear. Get in. Watch him. Sir. Sir. Sir, why are you not responding? Stop resisting, sir. Hey, dude, are you armed? No. He tells him he's not armed. Still pointing their guns yes. at an empty vehicle. Okay? Stay, stay with him. You okay? Yeah, he's this guy is clearly pissed off. Um, who knows what's going through his head if he's thinking they're going to be sued now, or if he's just sick of the fucking. Maybe he's actually sick of senseless shit like this happening, and and he's uh, he seems to be pretty affected by it. I mean, this told the guy that uh, that shot him, stay the fuck over there, leave me alone. They're just staring at him like a couple morons. Now let me flash this flashlight on your ass. Yeah, you can see he's genuinely affected by this. Well, that's what you get, buddy. You work for a gang, this is what happens. You know, a lot of people <clears throat> get nervous when we're out there in in life, you know, especially if you live in a city or, you know, somewhere where there's where there's crime and stuff. You know, you're walking at night. Sometimes you do get nervous. Sometimes somebody pulls up slow in a car right next to you and you're like, oh, what's the, what's this? You know, and it, and it, it makes the hairs on your on the back of your neck stand up. Your little spidey sense starts uh, tingling. You go, fuck, is this something, <laughs> you know, but not the rest of us in the world don't get just to, to draw guns all the time and fire if somebody moves a little bit erratically. This is really just uh, totally, I mean, I know, I know, I know, I know all of the things. I know all the arguments on both sides about the, you know, police shootings and stuff like this, you know, but how many cases have we seen where it's it's just completely ridiculous how fucking quick they are? To fire the rest of us don't get to do that when I when I'm like passing a guy that looks shady to me on the sidewalk at three in the morning I don't get to draw a gun on him you know <laughs> until he's out of sight that's just not how how life works Because, yeah, police will say, well, our job is so dangerous. Mm. Sometimes. It's not really one of the most dangerous jobs in the country. Um, nor is it inherently any less dangerous to just be a person walking down the street, which I guess is my point. We don't get to behave this way. You got the truck driver back here, just like, what the fuck do I do here? My hands are up. They're shooting people. My fucking hands are up. Ten minutes later, my hands are up.
And to go back to the moment that he gets shot one more time, I just want to make it clear, his hands are up when the guy fires. Um, you know, and he, he is frantically trying to comply here because he realizes he's in a bad situation all of a sudden. Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! See that? One more time. Hands clearly in the air. Yes, a split second, but they are in the air. Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! Officer cleared of all wrongdoing. There you go. Just one more little case for you. Uh, OverdoseTalkShow.com. You can get full downloads uh, for free of our show. Like and subscribe as always. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.